Hello and welcome everybody to another episode here on the channel. It is lovely to have you back once again. Guys, I am very, very excited for today's video because it kind of falls into the ballpark of glitches. Of course, it's with the map maker. Guys, when you get an update that has teleporters and jump pads in the map maker, you know a bunch of fun is about to come. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of bizarre things such as a 79 tile penny mortar shot, which is mind blowing. <laughs> a Carl pickaxe that takes its sweet time to return to Carl and a bunch of other things that I'm sure you all are going to enjoy. Hope you guys are excited. Let's get straight away into it. Here we go. I want to give a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Rune. Rune is an incredibly useful application both for Android and iOS users that allows you to find teammates for Brawl Stars and Clash Royale, connect to voice chat so you can grind trophies much more efficiently in the game. Rune has made massive improvements to their application since their launch last year, adding a bunch of different useful things to it, such as overall improvements to the voice chat system itself with an automatic reconnection feature if your connection is poor while using the application. They also added a new message features so you can have a more in-depth conversation with the people who you're voice chatting with, come up with game plans as well as send stickers and gifts from Clash Royale and Brawl Stars to your teammates and just have a good time with it. There's a ton of other really convenient features in the application such as when you're waiting for a teammate to connect to over voice chat you can boot up one of my videos on YouTube while you're waiting so you don't just have to look at a screen which is an amazing addition to Rune. Guys you can improve your game with Rune as well as watch your boy inside of the application nothing better so if you guys would like to improve your game in brawl stars or clash royale and have a great time doing it by connecting to the voice of the people that you're playing with in the game be sure to go check out rune the link will be in the description down below i'm sure you guys will all enjoy it so of course a huge huge thank you to rune for sponsoring today's video as well as another big thank you to rune for minimizing bad randoms here in brawl stars so guys with that being said let's get straight away back into the video here we go all right everyone so we are in the presence of Benny boy one of my my absolute favorite people here in the community because he is really into the same stuff your boy is into finding those hidden gems in the game that seem simple but they're just really eye appealing and fun to pull off so i want to start off with the carl one one of my favorites of today's video where me and oj discovered it while we were making that map maker video a few days ago where if you throw off your pickaxe then hop into a teleporter it takes forever to travel back the pickaxe can't go through the teleporters so if you extend it on a showdown map you can get to see some really awesome stuff so let's hop into it so you guys can do this for yourself as well but basically you just want to teleporter at the very top right as well as the very bottom left to get the full distance so you step on the teleporter you throw off the pickaxe and then you wait nice and long for it to come on back yep it's still coming it's still coming <laughs> And there it is. So what I was trying to do there and what we thought was if you throw off the pickaxe and wait for it to come back and you step on the teleporter before it gives. Okay, we need to use the green one. So if you go on the teleporter as soon as you see it, <laughs> we didn't get the timing again. Dang it. All right, let's try it on the blue this time. So here we go. So what we were trying to do is we would toss out the pickaxe and in theory, we would take the jump pad before the pickaxe would come. So it should be here. And then it would come back the same way. But as you can see, it just glitched right back to us. So unfortunately, we can't get the pickaxe just to go back and forth. But there is a way to extend the distance even further than what we've seen already. So let's take a look at it. But before we get into that, I want to share with you all the replay so you guys can actually see the pickaxe slowly fly back. It's one of the most satisfying things that you'll ever see. Also, we'll be switching to just replays here moving forward in today's video because, hey, when we're messing with 82 tiles making things fly that far <laughs> we have to be able to see the entire map right but wasn't that insane it's freaking satisfying as heck to see that pickaxe just slowly make its way back <laughs> all right let's see it a second attempt <laughs> pickaxe is like i must find my owner must return to carl <laughs> <laughs> so next getting into how you can extend it even further the pickaxe has some really weird mechanics once you start taking the teleporter so Benny is demonstrating here what you want to do on my end is proc the red teleporter so Benny can get back super super quickly and the pickaxe just kind of stalls and it's like what is going on it's trying to get a grasp of what the heck is happening with Benny taking two teleporters like that so it like stalls in place for a little bit it is freaking hilarious so we managed to get to 
the about the third jump pad beneath there as the pickaxe was trying to catch up. Once we took the second jump pad, he must have took another teleporter. It sped up a little bit to finally catch up to him. So really, really cool. There's a few other weird things that I want to explore though with this mechanic. So let's do it. So taking a second look at it here, this time let's follow Benny. So he throws it off at the green teleporter, takes the red teleporter back, which we procced for him and now the pickaxe is trying to catch up and it makes it all the way to the third jump pad but the question is is what happens if you don't take the jump pads while it's in that confused state while it's not having any movement speed right it's like where's carl where's my owner it, like is having a hard time finding it so let's see that so benny and i like to call this one taking your pickaxe for a walk <laughs> benny gets as close as he can to it while it's still confused like that and it just can't make it back it's so freaking funny and then finally attaches itself to Biddy. <laughs> <laughs> just taking your pickaxe for a walk man <laughs> i don't know what causes that um it's like in a really really slow state like it's confused maybe the teleporters just make it confused you never know but let's take a second look at that all right so final look here at taking your pickaxe for a walk i'm gonna proc the red teleporter the pickaxe starts to make its way but now it's confused it's just literally staying in that one spot benny is trying to just taking a walk <laughs> that was actually a bit longer than the last one i like that that is such a weird mechanic it's fun to tinker around with i recommend you guys try it out for yourself but let's move along to another strange thing with the teleporters and that is sending a mortar 82 tiles an 82 tile mortar shot freaking insane so let's do it there's another look at it too <laughs> but here we go you know what before we get into that mortar shot we'll save that one to the end because i think that's my favorite one now, i want to share this one with you because i find it so incredibly funny and that is delaying the tick head for as long as possible if you guys didn't know if you open up a teleporter the tick head will run straight through it so basically what we're going to try to do is have the tick head come at me while i'm in the bottom left hand corner with mortis and then it takes the teleporter spawn all the way back in the top right and just can't make his way to me it just keeps attempting trying to fulfill its life purpose <laughs> to take me out but we don't let it we just keep procking the teleporter so let's see how this works so Benny toss down his super on the tick head we open up the yellow teleporter it runs straight through poor mr. Tickhead. he's just trying trying his absolute best to run into us <laughs> also it's freaking hilarious to see Benny without a head for so dang long <laughs> <laughs> he's literally a tick with his head chopped off he's running around with his head chopped off <laughs> but here we go so we proc it zing right on back poor mr tick head he just wants to run into a juicy mortis with a lot of health but hey we ain't gonna let it um but eventually it will end up dying which it did there so i thought that one was freaking hilarious there's so many spawnables that you can kind of mess around with like nita's bear when it's coming at you can do the same exact thing it's just tick's head is a bit faster right it has some lower um movement speed but i found that incredibly funny <laughs> so let's move along all right everyone so the infamous 82 tile mortar shot it was actually coined or discovered by Benny boy here before map maker or teleporters were even a thing but it just makes it 10 times easier to do it with teleporters and map makers so all you really got to do is have your partner stand in the top right hand corner use your super on the teleporter and that's it you just throw it down it goes all the way back now watch the insane speed that it comes in <laughs> doesn't that just look powerful and scary <laughs> <laughs> so let's get a second look at that maybe we'll try to track how fast that mortar is going all the way across the map um but it's going to be definitely very very hard because that thing is coming in quick so it might come in again mm, no all right so second attempt we're gonna try to track this mortar shot just so you guys can get a feel for how fast this thing is going and how quick and how far it actually goes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over here because we're gonna need a head start so as soon as we see that green teleporter open up that's how we know the mortar's coming in oh, we got it for a little bit there but that made it from point a to point b in like two seconds <laughs> that mortar is coming in hot as heck man <laughs> also the cool thing about this is it works on a few different brawlers in the game as well you can do a mr p 
which is funny, <laughs> the little shot. You can do a Tara healing shadow. You can do a Jesse shot, which is one of my favorite ones as well. But the next one I want to share with you all is the Jesse's turret. Now, this one is absolutely hilarious because if you guys didn't know, Jesse's turret has a little bit of inaccuracy, right? Kind of shoots all over the place a little bit. But when you increase its distance, the inaccuracy increases, right? So if it's going in like a slight top left corner, if you're within range normally, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But if it's all the way down, down there the shot can really really go off track <laughs> and it's funny trying to find the little blue orb that's coming back um in this circumstance we didn't know that it hit the boxes <laughs> so we were like man this this must be really inaccurate <laughs> so let's get into another one here so we can see the shot go all the way across the map so here we go so it's time for our second attempt here this time around much like we did with the mortar shot i want to just track this bullet all the way across the map because it's absolutely hilarious <laughs> so there it goes go buddy go is it gonna hit the box no just misses <laughs> but look where it ended up going <laughs> like way left that's so funny <laughs> let's see if we can get one more in the pocket here in hindsight looking back at this honestly we should have removed those boxes I remember when we were doing this, we were so confused where the bullets were going, <laughs> but uh, we then found out that it was the boxes, <laughs> but Jesse's really, really funny. It's so funny seeing a small, tiny little bullet make its way slowly across the map, but there are others, so let's get into them. Okay, everyone, so the final one we're going to be doing is Tara's Healing Shade, which is actually really satisfying as well. We don't necessarily get to see the animation of the healing orb all that often because the distance in which you see it normally is very, very brief. So seeing it fly across the map is super, super awesome. Now we had a few difficulties with this one in particular because the healing shadow has a few extra steps that you have to carry out in order for it to actually land the timing. Um, so this took us about five different replays. So keep that in mind. We'll go over specifically how you need to do it if you guys want to test it out on your end. I actually end up giving the reins um, to Benny Boy being Tara so he could execute it properly just because he's much better at these things than I am. So several attempts later here we give the reins to Benny Boy. Benny Boy showing us how to do it properly. So if you guys want to replicate it, you can do so as well. So again, it's a little bit finicky. You might have a few fails here, but uh, Benny Boy explains that you have to be a little bit away from the teleporter. So you'll see him gear up a little bit further away from the red teleporter there, and then the healing shade will stand on it. But this was the first failed attempt. So as you saw, he threw off two different healing shots, and you want to time it just as it's about to throw off that second healing shot so we'll see here in a second so this time we attempted on the blue one I was panicking because I saw that red healing shade come back and I didn't want it to heal him but we took the teleport at the same time but there is the healing shot slowly making its way back <laughs> after I failed and went into the teleport trying to keep that other Tara shade away from him but it ended up working let's take a second look at that all right so time for a second look here let's see how this goes out I believe we go into the blue one yep so let's track this healing orb. There it goes. Doesn't that actually look insanely cool? It has so many cool effects to it. It's glittery. It has some like little pulses going on in the back. I love that one. I think this one was the most satisfying and my favorite one out of the group. The penny mortar, of course, is like the trademark of this mechanic. I think that's like really, really super cool because the speed increases. But for some reason, I like that healing shade one. Super, super awesome. But yeah, guys, those are the few little like glitchy things that we found with the teleporters and jump pads here with the newest additions to the map maker. Huge shout out to Benny Boy for helping out in today's video. I absolutely love ripping around with this guy. He always takes really methodical approaches to the mechanics here in Brawl Stars and it's super super fun to see what he does and what he finds in the game so if you guys come across anything specifically weird with the map makers and stuff like that be sure to leave it in the comments down below I would absolutely love to explore new things here in the game finding weird nuggets of fun in Brawl Stars but yeah guys hopefully you all enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to slap a like on it I'd really really appreciate that and yeah with that being said make sure to keep having fun Brawl Stars and we'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Peace out.